was attacked with cavalry. Yeah, I thought you wanted to stand by their attacking. No, 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 we've got to get in there. Yes, no, we've got to do something. Get in there! The first engagement of the new Battle of Telamon is about to begin. Right. Attack, attack, come on. That's it, they're attacking. Oh. Right, hit dance. Okay, there's another gap opening in right. our troop disposition. Close it, please. There's some troops. Will cavalry coming here. Move forward with the other cavalry. Yeah, we're going to have our troops divided That's if it. we don't close the gap. The second unit of Roman horse arrives, but Aroestes and his Gauls are ready and waiting. We have a battle going on here. Well done. Two sets of cavalry. I'm hoping that we'll win it. Okay. So the Romans have sent some cavalry up the hill just to, to harass the Gaulish army. And the team is going for it. The team thinks that the battle is starting. And now the team is going to focus on this little group of Roman cavalry. Not important to the Romans. Finish them off and regroup, regroup on the right-hand flank. That's it. That's it. The Gauls have made a terrific start, demolishing two units of Roman cavalry. But had the team fallen for a clever trick? Has the Roman consul Regulus provided just the smokescreen that his comrade Aemilius needs? The generals have been tempted to focus their attention on a tiny, meaningless corner of the battlefield when another Roman army is creeping up on them. That's the Roman army that the team thinks is going to attack them. They're not moving. There's the team. But way back there, you can almost see them coming through the trees, is another Roman army. And that Roman army is going to sandwich the team and destroy them. The team has got that much time to attack the army they can see, otherwise they're definitely going to lose. Concealed in the forest, Aemilius makes his move, leading his troops from Rome north towards the hill. But still waiting for Regulus to fall into their trap, the generals have no idea about the new threat to their rear. We're in no hurry. We've got the, we've got the best ground. We can wait. How are you going to tempt them up? Three flights? <laughs> Any movement? Hang on a second. We've got some uh, more horses and Romans coming from the top right-hand side, I think. Or no, top left-hand side. Now the team have noticed that they're between two Roman armies. Well, that's not, that's not there's a moving. They're behind us. They're behind us? Yeah, no, they're ours. Dave Foster is trying to convince the generals that there is another army there. The army of Consul Aemilius is finally on its way. They're heading for the hill, where they can unite with their comrades. The team must get their act together fast. See it? You see? see? No, no, they're, they're oh, right. God, yes, right, right, they're going um, up a hill. Yeah, we need right, to... We're okay, because we're on top of a hill. Did you hear that? Yes, it's okay. It. We're on did. top it's of a hill. Think of that. They're going to die on top of a hill. That's wonderful. I know. It's a very strange mentality. Dave? Yeah? Can you swing your cavalry around? Yeah. yeah. To face the... Uh, yeah, so the if you just coming up from the side. From the south. Sand planks. So you've got this surprise, you knew they were going to be somewhere, and they're coming at you from behind. How are you going to deal with this battle on two fronts? Well, we're, we're going to attack once they get a bit closer. We, do you think we should defeat them? I think, I think we've we got to let them get closer so yeah. we can wipe out one side before and, the other one reacts. They've already pretty much destroyed the Roman cavalry, so they've got some advantage over those Romans to the front of them. If only they would now grasp it and go for it. They need to move forward and attack a Roman army. They need to do it now, otherwise we might as well go home early. Dave? Yeah? We want you to turn your men around to face the new army coming up from the uh, southeast, okay. so southwest. Yeah. Trix, you're going to be concentrating on the troops that are down the hill ahead of you. Dave Calderwood's plan is he's going to divide his army up into two bits, slap them back to back as the meat inside a Roman sandwich and try to fight a defensive battle. He's just going to be lunch. Dave? Yeah? I've got two sets of horses which are doing nothing. Do you want me to bring them around to counteract the other Romans coming on horseback? 
So if you look at my hands, yeah. on that side there where we had the battle, I've got two sets of horseback guys up here. Yeah, spring them round, yeah. yeah. The, um, I don't know what he's talking about. Do you just film him? I, I just think it's just a couple of spare units running around. So. Yeah, if, if that lot of Romans know about this lot, we could be in more trouble. Let them come up, they'll be knackered by the time they get Yeah, exactly. Hurt. I think, wait till we see the whites of their eyes. Are you going to wait for them or are you going to attack them? I think we, I think we wait for them, for the moment. Let yeah. them come on a bit further. They were lined up in a pretty good formation on the top of the hill for advancing down towards yes. the people in front of them. The time it's taking to put this elbow bend in their army, to have the rear facing yeah. line, is just helping the Roman legions to their rear to cover the ground. Dave, Nick, do you want us all to turn around? Do you want half to turn around and half to stay facing forward? That's what we're coming to that decision, that is that we should divide our force yeah. in two. Divide and fall. Remember what you said? They seem to have this bizarre fixation on achieving some kind of geometric formation with their rampaging barbarians. The Roman game might be geometric formations, but if these Gaulish barbarians try to pretend to be Romans, they're all going to die. With Aemilius marching ever closer to their precious hill, the team's initial target, Regulus and his legions, now start to move as well. 46,000 disciplined Roman troops threaten to surround the Gaulish tribes. The team must respond decisively and fast. I think those other Romans are moving about there, are they? Yeah. The, the original bunch. They're moving. I think we'll wait. Okay, guys, the original yeah. bunch of Romans are now starting to head towards the, the same flank. They're all on foot these guys. You've got to sit and wait for them rather than go and attack them, is that right? Well, because we hold the hill, and there's massive advantage in holding the hill. Every time that he asks them what they're going to do, they say, it doesn't matter, we hold the hill. It's not a magic hill. We've decided to hold the hill, we'll stick to that decision, we now need the troops to be in the right formation to defend two fronts. Troops, your yeah. cavalry need to move to the left. I don't have cavalry. Dave has the cavalry. These are the last seconds of life that this that this team has got. Their army is about to be slaughtered, and they're fine-tuning exactly where in their formation their horses are going to be. We're unnecessarily spread out on the right. We need to pull in our right flank. You're going to die. Just attack somebody. But it could already be too late. Seizing the initiative, Emilius in the south sends his lightly armed Velites up the hill. It doesn't take them long to get within firing range. A sudden javelin attack from the rear takes the Gallic army by surprise. With deadly effect. Dave is desperate to retaliate. Hang on, hang on. They're throwing spears at us. Do you want us to go and take them out with the horses? No, stay, stay where you are. But they're throwing spears and hitting us. Which we, need, we need to engage. You're being attacked. Are you just going to sit there? Charge, Dave. Charge. Charge. Which no, no, don't charge Jeez. yet. Wait a minute. Wait, let them get no, closer. Which one's not going to move? Come on, let's get them. Which one's not going to move? It's really impressive watching the speed of the Velites, the Roman light infantry going in, and seeing how quickly they're changing the battlefield situation. Dave, attack with your cavalry. They have allowed their cavalry to become pinned down. See, so look at that. And they've already taken heavy losses in the cavalry. Though. Look, you're being attacked. No, I think we yeah. wait till the last no, minute. No, 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 no. Is this is the last no, minute. This is the last minute. Right, attack. That's it. That's it. We'll get stuck in there. At last, Dave can send his surviving cavalry into the Romans. And he orders his heavy cavalry to attack the well-armed Roman Hastati sent in by Aemilius. Keep on attacking, Dave. That's it. Yeah, no worries. And remember, Tricks, if you feel you're getting no instruction and you know what to do, do, just it. do it. Yeah. I suggest we disengage the, the, the cavalry oh, now. No, we're in the battle. We should, we've yeah. got to beat them. We've got to win this. Yeah. Right. Given the chance to fight back, the team's cavalry defend themselves well. But it still doesn't satisfy General Nick. We're, we're breaking up and not moving too far away from the hill. That's the problem. Okay. I think well, we should have stayed where we were and let them come to us. We need to get out Gisati into the front line of the infantry, and we, we want, we're going to attack this bunch here that's coming up from the south, the new bunch. So you see that sandwich here? We've got one Roman army here, one Roman army here. That's the team's army drawn up in beautiful order in the middle. I mean, it, it won't be necessary to mark out graves for them. You'll be able to bury them in lines. 
Determined to stay on the hill, the team have squandered their initial success and face envelopment by two Roman armies. While their generals dither, Trix and Dave are desperate to launch an attack. They know their warriors are best used